Hey guys, I ran into a problem while I was trying to create a GUI using Windows Builder Google extension for Eclipse. Uh, let me show you what I am getting. Let me open up Eclipse. I have two versions of Java installed in my computer, 1.6 version and the latest 1.67 version. Uh, let me create a new project. And I'm going to use 1.7 um, Java Runtime Environment and click Finish. This will create a project for me and I'm going to create a class. I'm going to create a uh, JFrame using Swing Designer. Uh, once you install Win Windows Builder, uh, Windows Builder will install this extension for you uh, GUI extensions so I'm gonna go to swing designer and I'm gonna select uh, JFrame click next and I'm gonna give it a name and class name finish it and uh, this this wizard will create a bunch of coding and uh, you can click on designer view and go to the designer uh, design section but unfortunately i'm getting this error it says eclipse is running under 1.6 but this java project is 1.7 compliance so uh, if you go to project properties you should be able to see java compilers it's uh, i'm i'm using 1.7 virtual machine java runtime environment so uh, even if i go to windows and preferences and java if you go to java compiler i have selected 1.7 that means eclipse also running uh, it workspace under 1.7 runtime environment so but I am getting this error so the, when, if I go to help and about Eclipse and installation details and configurations it takes some time to gather the information and if you scroll down and uh, you should be able to find java version java version yeah this one S you can see it is on 1.6 version so which is strange but uh, let's see if you let me open up another terminal and type java you can see my system uh, java runtime environment is pointed to 1.6 uh, but i have installed two versions 1.6 and 1.7 let me show you as you can see i have java uh, 1.6 and 1.7 installed but by default system is picking 1.6 version to uh, fix this problem you, you have two methods um, either you can change the java systems java uh, ubuntu system to load java uh, picks up java 1.7 when you type java uh, or you can edit eclipse ini and uh, force eclipse to load in 1.7 environment so let me show you first method uh, second method first let me edit eclipse ini I have I have put my Eclipse under OPT Eclipse. If you go to Eclipse directory, you'll see you you'll be able to see this uh, Eclipse INI file. Just open it. And you have to put virtual ma virtual machine uh, switch just before VM marks. I'm gonna put it to insert mode 
VM and you have to give the path to the Java 1.7 virtual machine. So let me get the path correctly. My one is CT slash user. Java 7 I386 JVM JRE pin and if you go here you see Java executable here so we have to give this path in INI I'm gonna copy it and paste it here and give Java so save the file and uh, load the Eclipse again this uh, this should uh, fix the problem which was conflicting Eclipse if you go to GUI so this and my class my JFrame class and if you click on design you should be able to get the design view now alright as you can see now the conflicting Java conflicting error is being resolved uh, and if you go to help about Eclipse and installation details also you should be able to see uh, Java now it Eclipse uses 1.7 version Java version it uses 1.7 and there's another workaround uh, you can change the uh, Ubuntu system to pick up Java 1.7 instead of 1.6 you can do this by uh, you have to first find out uh, where it picks up Java executable which Java will tell you from where it says user bin Java let's do a ls normally this is a link it's a bin Java all right uh, this it it's a soft link to Java alternatives Java let's go in there and see do ls uh, now in here uh, it's pointed to our 1.6 environment java runtime environment so what we have to do is instead of this soft link we we can uh, create a soft link to our 1.7 environment so it will uh, ubuntu will pick up 1.7 so first of all let me back uh, back up this Java soft link Java to Java backup oh uh, we have to go to alternatives right uh, then we have to create a soft link that uh, points to our new java 1.7 runtime environment i'm going to click a, uh, create a soft link to user java 7 i386 java runtime environment bin java and uh, soft link will be java so it will create a soft link uh, to java if you write up uh, if you execute the previous version you should be able to see now it's pointed to 1.7 java runtime environment and uh, if you execute java version it says java 1.7 I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I, I hope this would help you to resolve any Java conflicts in uh, Eclipse 
and if you like the video don't forget to click on like button and thanks for